This slide illustrates how that sample data set called VS1D MASW.DAT was generated. First, it was assumed there were total eight field records generated with all this source receiver configuration, but all of them were formatted and combined into one file. So whenever you import this sample data set, you have to choose formatted seismic data, not seg2 seismic data. 24 channel receiver array stayed at the same place all the time. And this is channel number one location and channel number 24 location here. And there were a uh, total four different source offsets were uh, used on this side, which is a forward shot because this is the channel number one location. And then another four different source offsets were assumed on the other side, which is reverse side of the uh, receive array. So total eight field records were generated. And this chart illustrates relative location of receivers and source for eight different field records. And this table shows the summary of all that information. Go to setup source receiver here and then choose from formatted seismic data vs1dmasw.dat and then run wizard and I confirm there are total eight records in the input file. Distance unit was meter. So I move to next and it was active data and the receiver array was 1D receiver array which was a linear receiver array and receiver spacing was one meter. So whenever you need to change any number, you just select a number and uh, you just uh, type in like this, uh, meter, receiver spacing. For this first file, record number one, the source location was uh, off the first channel. So I choose this one. And then I know the first record, the source offset was a uh, one meter. So I confirm this is correct. And then only source moved and receiver array stayed at the same place. So I select this one. And the, the direction of source move was away from the receiver array. So I select this one. And for the next record, the source offset was a 6 meter. So it moved by 5 meter from current location. So I type in 5 here like this. And then this is where I actually uh, specify field coordinate. Here, the last channel's location, I put 0 meter. And uh, the distance increases this direction. And then for this uh, station numbers, I would write in code like this, 1020 for here, and then 1023 here. Whenever you update any numbers within these four edit boxes, you have to press enter a few times so that uh, all the other coordinates and uh, station numbers can be updated. And these station numbers are not important. It is another reference coordinate, but um, it has to be in consecutive numbers. Whereas this distance coordinate, it always increases by one receiver spacing and then move to next one and I review all this information and I confirm everything is correct and move to next and then here I have to choose begin and end the record numbers for the setup that I specified so far it is going to be only from record number one to two because from record number three, the configuration will change again. So I run it and specify alpha file name. And then it shows this chart. Here, I confirm this is correct. This is the way I wanted to encode. So I close this one. And then it informs me to select next two records that I'm going to encode that setup. 
So it is going to be from record number 3 to 4. And then I go back to this location. And then still I'm on the uh, forward side. So source is, is still off the first channel. So this is correct selection. And then I know the file record number 3, the source offset was a 12 meter. So I type in 12. And this is correct. And this is correct too. Only source moved. And source moved away from the receiver array. And by how much? Record number 3 had a source offset of 12 meter. And then next record, record number 4, had source offset of 24. So it moved by 12 meter, like this. And this is a surface coordinate which should not change. So I confirm this is correct. I review this one. And then run. And it shows me the chart again. This is the way I want it to encode. So I close this one. And now I'm going to choose the next two records, which will be 5 and 6. And now I go back to location here. And now I know the source location for this record number 5 was off the last channel. So I have to select this one. Okay. And I know the f file number 5, the source offset, was 1 meter. So I type in 1. So I confirm this is correct. And I choose this one because only source moved. And source moved away from the receiver array. So I click this one. By how much? The next record, which will be record number 6, the source offset was a 6 meter. So from here, it moved by 5 meter, like this. And now, this shows the coordinate uh, flipped because I switched the, uh, the source location. And this should be 23. That was the original coordination that I chose. So and this should be 22. And the station number, correct. It started from 1001 at channel number 1. So this is correct. Now I run it. Now it shows these source locations on reverse side of the receiver array. This receiver array, the channel number 1 location is here on the right side. So I confirm this is correct. I close it. And now I choose the last two records of 7 and 8, like this, and go back to location. And it's of, the source is still off the last channel. And I know for record number 7, the source offset was 12 meter. This is correct. And this is correct too. And away from the receiver array, it moved. By how much? It moved another 12 meter, like this. And this is the correct coordination that I selected at the beginning. So next, I review, and next, and run. So this is correct. This is the way I wanted from the beginning. So this is the end of the uh, source receiver setup for VS1D MASW.DAT.